Allison here back again with another video that makes wellness easier for busy women on the go. Today's Talk Show Tuesday is all about how to handle your weaknesses without going cold turkey. Today I want to ask you, what's your weakness? Because I get this question a lot. People often come to me with a health and wellness question asking about how they can be healthier, what they can do to change their life. But then when we begin discussing solution, there's always the, but I can't get over my weakness. Have you ever said this? Is there a certain food or a certain food group that's really got a hold on you? Is there a food group that really has you weak? If so, you've come to the right place. Because in this video, we will discuss empowering ways to handle your weaknesses without completely cutting them out of your life if you're not ready to do so just yet. I'm Allison and I help make wellness easier for busy women on the go. How you may ask, it's by turning you into an efficiency machine. I design products such as the journals behind me that help you to really streamline your processes, know who you are, so that you can be more efficient and get more out of life, more of you, more time, and more fun. If that interests you, then visit the links down in the description below to find out more about me and the products available. The first way to handle your weaknesses is really with the mindset shift. And this mindset shift is all about stop rewarding yourself with food. Food is not emotional support. And I'll make this point short because I've discussed it a lot in my other blog posts, but I know, I know, I know. We associate food with good times. No matter where I've traveled to in the world, the countries that I've been to, that I've studied, that I've read about, people around the world gather around food, so I get it. Holidays are usually celebrated around the meal. Socializing happens in the kitchen. It's built into our nature. We reward ourselves with sweets and punish ourselves with diets. It's just human nature. But a slight shift in thinking needs to happen, however, if you want to handle your weaknesses. I did a previous video on why cheat meals suck and 18 empowering ways to reward yourself that do not involve food. If this is an area where you really struggle, then go watch that video and then come back to this one for the rest of the points. Because optimizing our busy lives on the go is all about retraining ourselves to make new great habits. Instead of rewarding or emotionally supporting yourself with a pint of ice cream after a long hard day, why not try a bubble bath and a book instead? Because the celebrations in life will most likely continue to be gathered around food. We just have to retrain our brains to stop emotionally supporting ourselves and punishing ourselves with it. Do you see the difference between a celebration and emotional support? The emotional support makes food a crutch and therefore a weakness. This really creates a dangerous relationship with food instead of a healthy one. Did I explain that clearly? Let me know in the comments. Do you completely disagree? Also let me know in the comments. I really want to talk about this. Let's discuss below. The second way to get a handle on your weakness is to stop trying to go cold turkey. I mentioned this on another video. Stopping something cold turkey today makes you want five hot turkeys tomorrow. Your brain is very intelligent. It is used to your habits and it will fight you. It will fight you to return back to your old habits, especially once you remove something with one major jolt. This is a survival mechanism that's just built into humans. Our brains are resistant to change, especially major change. And when you stop something cold turkey, you have majorly disrupted the system. This makes you crave the food more and then you binge. If your life is built around sweets and you suddenly decide to cut off sugar, you will have major problems in the forms of cravings, especially if this was a big part of your life. You can resist and be strong for a period of time, but most people that I've spoken to who have done this have had some serious relapses. I did this once before back in 2015. I decided not to eat sugar anymore after it was a very major part of my life and I barely lasted two weeks. I had a major relapse and I made myself a nice plate of ice cream, cookies, cake. I had some cheesecake and candy. I got my fill and my makeup from those two weeks all in one plate. 
You know what's also worse about cold turkey is that this meal that I had was worse than I ever ate before. I did not even normally eat these things when I was eating sugar, but cold turkey really makes everything in that category look desirable. Going cold turkey makes you weaker to your weakness and it makes everything that you took out of your diet look desirable even if it really wasn't before. So instead of starving yourself of these things, remove them slowly. Instead of dessert every night, try it every other night. You can also make your nightly portions smaller and smaller. This is an effective change that's less shocking and that will allow you to get a handle on your weakness without causing a major relapse later. At the time of filming this video, I'm actually about two months into no more sugar, no processed food. And how I've actually been successful this time is because I weaned it off this way. And I wasn't so much into sugar and processed foods before I cut them off. My sugar that I ate really came from the amount of carbohydrates that I was eating, but I made a plan to stop eating an excessive amount of those foods, which really allowed me to eliminate them completely. If you want to know how I did it, I'll link the video here. And stay tuned with me on this journey because I'm also doing updates along the way to show you that it definitely is possible. The second way that you can get a handle on your weaknesses is to replace it with something of a similar nature. So if we continue to use cutting out sweets as an example, instead of completely cutting them off cold turkey, why not slowly replace that with different sweet sources? For example, I used to love chocolate cake and brownies, but instead of purchasing my favorite box of brownie mix from the store, what I did was I searched for healthier brownies on the internet and I found an amazing three ingredient banana brownie recipe made from ripe bananas, almond butter, and cocoa powder. You have to try it. I will link it down in the description below. They are filling, they are chocolatey, and they are delicious. This was my go-to when I wanted a really chocolatey sweet brownie. But at the time of filming this video, I don't really eat those anymore because I don't crave sugar anymore. But this worked back then because the ripe bananas provided the sweetness that my palate was really looking for. Also, dark chocolate is a great alternative to milk chocolate and it's often better quality. You can try dates, strawberries, mangoes, persimmons, and blueberries for natural sources of sugar instead of added sugars. Ooh, this is another good one. If ice cream is your weakness, try freezing a banana overnight and then the next day, all you have to do is put it in a blender with a drop of milk, fire. That's all I have to say, it, it was so good. It comes out just like soft serve ice cream. But be careful because bananas are carbaceous, that's a word, and they will make you blow through your carbohydrate macros. So just be careful. This is not something that you want every single day. If salty and savory is more of your weakness and your craving and you usually go towards junk food and chips, why not try some pickled vegetables? They provide crunchy and salty satisfaction. You can catch my video up above titled to snack or not to snack. And I talk more about pickled vegetables and how they're a better snack option in that video. If fried food is your weakness, then try oven baked or even air fried for that really good crunch. So this is embarrassing, but I'll say it anyway. I used to call myself the sauce queen because I would love sauces and condiments on all of my food but they added so many more unnecessary grams of fat and especially carbohydrates to my plate that I just didn't need. So I replaced them with items of a similar flavor profile. I did this by seasoning my food, which we will talk about in a later video. Replacements are still delicious, usually more nutritious, and you really haven't removed any specific flavor profiles from what you love. You can still be satisfied by having the flavor profile of your weakness without being weak to it. In closing, I want to offer you some tough love. I want to offer you to be stronger. When you have a weakness, you are ruled by that certain thing. Remember, you are the ruler. Food is here to serve you, your body, and your specific needs. You do not serve food. And as long as you consider something as your weakness, it will continue to weaken and rule you. If you're ready to become ruler again of your life and to let go of your weaknesses, then let's try something. 
why don't you get a copy of the 90 day daily food journal where you can write down your progress of how you're slowly cutting out your weaknesses and in 90 days you can be completely transformed this journal has a food page for every single day so you can write day one how much you eat and your slow progression of cutting it out so that in 90 days you can be completely free and ruler of your thoughts and habits again I will leave the link to this book down in the description below. So try the things that we talked about in this video to take your place back as ruler. You rule your thoughts and your eating habits, and these are just ways to get you started. Ideally, you would want to successfully cut out your weaknesses, but try these methods first, baby steps without going cold turkey, so that you will successfully remove them with no problems, just like I did with sugar and processed food. Have you tried any of these methods to get a handle on your weaknesses? Have you tried anything else that I may have missed? Let's discuss in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Really got a hold on me. Re 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 Oof. We reward. You know what to do. Put the turkey in the bowl there.